Okay. All right, this is six scale December 8th. So Brian and I were having a discussion beforehand. Uh, let me just summarize this. Um, so we, so there's a, um, a discussion ongoing right now to make the performance job voting and um, what uh, the current discussion is, is how we can have move forward first steps on how we can kind of get some more data on, um, from this job. So let me, let me see here. So we've, we've got, this. yeah, so, so one of my main points in this, Ryan, is that basically it's running on the main workloads clusters. So if we're running more of these performance jobs, it will be competing with existing jobs and it may not get scheduled as often. So I don't know about making it always required, but maybe if we, increase the amount of components that make kick off this job, then I think that might be a better option for us. Okay. I don't know, just put it up here. So we're gonna see that it goes. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, so I, I gotta change this again because I realized I went back to always true. So uh, we're gonna do, I'm gonna change this back to the run is changed. All right, so let's target uh, a, convert changes. I think what, um, I pretty much like all the APIs to like, all APIs, I think we'll just do the tools, uh, the perf scale yeah. audits, and then I think just tests, uh, and then the, the actual test, I think it's like performance or something. We'll do just that. Yeah. Um, and then I have all basal changes. Uh, and then I don't know what else. Do you want to leave RPM for now? I, I, I don't know about how much impact that would have. Sorry, which one, or what, which one? Um, the, R, the RPM directory. I think you have the RPM directory in your PR. It's kind of breaking up for me, sorry. Uh, it was, oh, RPM. The, oh, sorry, that's, RPM, I got yeah, it. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, uh, so slash RPM. I think, is that, is that the, I guess that, all right, so I, my question was, do you want to include that or do you think would it cause much impact? Um, I need to look in here again. Let me see. Yeah, so this, yeah, okay. Anything that has to do with the packages. Um, yeah, we should, we should have. So RPM, not manifest, not images. I, I I wouldn't be sure about hack either. I know that some of your scripts are in there, but yes, but um, okay. So I think just this one will do. Um, I know this isn't the one. It's the, we have two, so it's the one of them is the performance cluster. We need to rename this, but I think this is the performance cluster. This is the this is the one that's I think gas. So hack. Tests as well. Perf tests, yeah. Oh, oops. Okay. No docs, no examples, container images, command. No cluster up to basil. Automation, I don't think so. I don't think we need assets and we'll need API. So yeah, that's just that. I think I think your performance lane is kicked off by a script in in autom in auto under automation, but um I guess if you're making changes there, you'd know to 
kick off the test yourself. I don't know. I don't know what your thoughts on that are. This one. Um... Yeah. So this actually kicks off the the test. If I if I remember correctly, the, the lane runs from this one. No, it, it should rarely change, of course, but. This one looks like um, the performance. This one looks like the dead the performance cluster. So this one, so, okay, so there's, this one looks like the performance cluster. So though this one, um, so the, the performance job should be kicked off by, yeah, we really need to rename this. So it should be picked up by uh, just running this one. And then there should be perf, uh, on your back. So you're going to hack in. Okay, something's going to call this. Uh, okay, so perfect test. No, okay, so it doesn't, so, but there should be a perf on it. Here, right. Yeah. Okay. So, so okay. This is the one. So this is the de the dense. This is the one that runs on the performance job. I just don't know. And then this is the. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay. So this is this is the one that triggers it. Yeah. So it's perf test dot sh calls the density test here. And then, the. The one in automation, I lost the tab, but not too many open here. This one, automation, oops, calls um, per scale test. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it just okay. kind of sets up some flags, as it sets up some environment variables and stuff like that. Yeah, hack per automation and hack per scale test. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we, we need to rename this because this is, um, Actually, Marcelo was one to set this up, and I remember just following along with it. But yeah, it's, I'll need to maybe make this a little, a little clearer. This is for the dedicated performance cluster. Okay, so anyway, back to where we're. So this is. Uh, let me go back to tests. Um, so it's just, um, just in tests and test performance. It's the only one we need. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So there we go. And then, um, was there anything else? I think that's. So you said automation assets API. Yeah, we got API. I think that's it. Third party vendor tools tests. Staging source. I think was the other one. If you have package manifest, um, and then everything. I'm just gonna think everything in here. I mean, maybe I don't need everything in here. Maybe I just need these. A few of these for CTL. I don't think we use. Okay, I'll look through these. I think maybe we don't need all of them. Um, yeah. The subset. Maybe if you could do maybe the verts. <laughs> like that okay <clears throat> all right something like that so this uh okay so this this will mean then um job. so how, how should we classify this it's 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 um it's it's run on these changes but it's it may block some merge some merges um i suppose it'll run against any any change in these things Will will at least get data on if it passed or failed against any of these changes. If anything changes under within this area, then we'll be able to see if it passes or fails on that PR. Okay. Um, that's the only thing. That's the only thing we can guarantee. I don't think we can talk about a merger or not based on the documentation. But um, I I've okay. seen I've seen. I've seen a stop merges, but that's just my experience. But 
All right, I guess then we'll just leave it as it. I think like, I, I, I trust that we'll see if it's there and there's failures that, that people will notice. And we will notice too. Like we look at this, the job results yeah. often enough that we'll notice too. So I think we've got two layers of protection there. So we'll just see, we'll just kind of go forward and like, I think just like start with that and let's see, let's see how it goes. Okay. Cool. All right. I think that's good. So I'll make the change and then um, I think I got to remix it too and um, send it over to you. Yeah, Brian. I think I, I, I updated it to 1.25 actually as well. I don't know if that has changed the results or uh, anything for you. Um, that's maybe. Yeah, that's one check. of the things I wanted to look at today. Yeah. So let's see. We're, let's, I want to make a note. So um, yeah, the lane was upgraded from 1.22 to 1.25. Okay. Yeah, let's take a look. Those of these. I think it would emerge like a few days ago, so we might have a little bit of data. I, yeah, maybe yesterday or the day before, so we might actually not have enough to even look at, but you might be able to compare. Um, ah, there we go. <laughs> Three. Okay, let's see. Start with the first one. Okay, so the first one is the um, 100 VMs density test. Okay. Create events, create pause. Okay, looks fine. Patch. Yeah, okay, seems fine. And then Well, in the threshold for these. Ryan, does it fail if the threshold is exceeded? If threshold exceeded, if, if tr threshold exceeded is true, does it does the lane fail or is it just? Yeah, the the yeah, it should fail when the when it succeed when it succeeded. Yeah. Um, and then let's see, sorry, P fifty. Yeah, looks pretty good. And yeah, I miss mean, looks about the same. P99, yeah. Pretty good. Okay. We're looking for yeah, one that's more. Good. Um actually, look, before I do that. We got we got two more to look at here in this job. So wait, uh, second one. This is um VMs. Yeah, okay. VMs we have Okay. <clears throat> oh, this comes very close. Very close. <laughs> All right. Great pods. That's it. Yeah, and then the, the performance side looks good. Okay. All right, let's look at number three. This is the with the perf classes. Or sorry, the instance types. Okay, just under the threshold for this one. Okay. Huh, okay, wait, this one's over though. Um, so this should be 10 to one. This looks like a bug to me, so. This should be 10 to one and we're getting 11 to one. So we're getting exceeded false. Okay, that doesn't look right. All right, that looks like a bug to me. 
All right, I'll have to look at that. Note. So the update should be all right. Let's see that. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure why that's this looks like that. Should be ten, it should fail. All right. Um I'll take action on that one. All right, so these look P50, P95, also it's okay. These are, oh yeah, I think we said last time that the, the we need to even these out. This is the, per, the instance type for this is much smaller than the, um, than the other two jobs. So the, the performance on these threshold is, is a little better. Yeah, threshold is really high on that, is it? Yeah, it's, it's too high for the, it's yeah basically it's 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 not an apples it's basically apples to oranges here this is this is not we need to change the the instance type to be to reflect the same ones as the um as the other two jobs or these thresholds will be meaningless okay yeah yeah we have a note for that one okay that looks pretty good so i mean i think just without i mean this one i'll have to look at but um Everything else looks fine, though. I think um, these are all within right around what we expected. So that's pretty good. It looks like there was no change when we moved to the new Kubernetes version. Yeah. Well, we can't, we kind of had to move anyway because the 1.22 provider was going away. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's cool. So we, we'll, we'll, we'll keep monitoring this, you know, and every week and we'll see how, uh, see if anything else changes. But we need to look at this one. Cool. Okay, that's that one looks pretty good. And then, um, yeah, okay, we're still got to be able to get. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I think um, I think this is good. So um, I'll I'll take a look at this at some point, and then um, I'll update the uh, uh, this commit when I get a chance. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, uh, thanks, Brian, and thanks all for joining. Are there any other topics for, I think, uh, I don't see anybody. Are there any other open topics people want to add? Bring up? Um, nothing for me. Thanks very much, Ryan. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah, Talk see to you later. Bye-bye.